What's up guys? Welcome back. So I just finished my first week at the hospital, the acute inpatient rehab combo. Uh, first week's been going pretty well. My hours from Monday through Friday are 7 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. And I'm kind of glad it's more, it's, I know 7 is pretty early, but I'm glad it's this early because it definitely skips the Miami traffic a little bit in the morning. It's not that bad and in the afternoon it gets pretty bad still, even when I leave around 3.30. Uh, lately I've been taking the bus. There's a bus that takes me from, um, takes me about 10 minutes to drive to the bus stop and then takes me from that stop all the way to basically in front of the hospital in Miami. I usually just sleep on the bus, so it's, it's a lot easier. You uh, definitely see a lot of interesting people on the bus, uh, especially in Miami. So I don't know if I mentioned it before, but I work in the spinal core unit in the hospital and they basically describe it as a hospital within the hospital. So we have our little corner of the hospital on the first floor. So on this rotation, I actually get my own um, login account to document. So the first week we spent a lot of time doing setting up my account and everything. So that took a while, but I'm all set up to document, have my own login. Um, and I get to sign my notes and then of course to be co-signed by my CI as well And they have like a little corner with the computer and a chair set up for me. That's pretty cool. The majority of the uh, patients we see have uh, spinal cord injury MS multiple sclerosis or ALS. So I've been reading up on these different diagnoses and kind of their uh, basic presentation and kind of the main impairments that you see with with these diagnoses so I know how to come up with interventions or uh, just kind of have a better idea of how the pathology works. So I, if the patient wants more explanation, I can do so. And for the spinal cord injury patients, um, I've been reading up on the different um, injuries to the spinal cord, uh, different presentations like the central cord, uh, brown secker, anterior cord, uh, posterior cord syndrome, and all that stuff and kind of what's affected and then if you lose sensation and if, if it's complete or incomplete and the different levels and then what muscles are preserved and then what muscles are lost, uh, sensory motor loss and all that stuff. We, we definitely learned that in school but I have those old notes that I just got to pull up and continue reviewing them and it's definitely going to help me for the boards as well for the neuro section. But it's really nice to kind of see these presentations in person instead of just reading about it in the books. Also, my CI, he, um, he is in charge of the driver's training program, um, which is really cool. So they, I haven't seen much of it yet, but he basically uh, prepares them, goes through a bunch of tests to make sure the patient is ready to go back to driving, e either with uh, modifications of the steering wheel or like the gas pedal or different things like that. Uh, they test like depth perception, um, memory, uh, reaction time, vision, definitely. and all that important stuff before they actually send them to the DMV to get their license and allow them to drive again. And for documentation, we use uh, CPRS and this documentation system is not too bad. We get our own, you basically get a blank template and then you type your own notes in there in the SOAP format, Subjective Objectives Assessment and Plan. We kind of learned that in school, so it's pretty easy to follow. And unlike my past, my past documentation system, in the hospital and they use Epic and that one has a lot of scrolling, a lot of clicking and then picking different things and takes a little bit longer. So I'm okay with the SOAP format. And a lot of the spinal cord patients, they're either paralyzed from neck down or waist down. So um, we have to prescribe a lot of uh, power wheelchairs so they can control it with whatever um, uh, motor function they have left. I'm not too familiar with the different uh, power wheelchairs and the different specs, uh, different functions of certain things. So I'm definitely going to try to learn as much as I can in that aspect. But so far this first week, I've just been observed the first couple of days. I started treating a couple of the patients and then um, I'm, I think I'm probably doing an eval next week coming up. And I will definitely keep you guys updated on any new cases that I find very interesting or Definitely all the new things I learned from this rotation and hope you guys enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.